WSLS 10 in your town, sponsored by Bank of Botata. We are back in your town tonight and something that's really special to the Hill City is what they have to offer outdoors. 10 News anchors John Carlin and Lindsay Ward join us once again. There are so many great places to explore outside. Uh, we, you know, we we have been looking around, and there's so much. There is so much to do in the Hill City, but uh, the Department of Parks and Rec is working on a variety of activity for people of all ages. And Lindsay, we're talking about everything from arts to the outdoors. Oh, absolutely! They have a lot going on. The Jackson Heights Art Studio was a school for African American students back in the 1930s. Then the building was abandoned in the 1950s. Parks and Rec has converted that building, and they did that in 2015. This was an opportunity to create this hidden gem in Lynchburg of the Jackson Heights Art Studio. Um, and as you'll see, it is, in, it is hidden. It is in a little neighborhood, so it's off the beaten path, um, but it makes it very quiet and a really serene place to work. So Parks and Rec has like 220 programs this summer, including kayaking, some culinary classes that you can take, and then wildlife education. So there's a lot for everyone of different ages and then just different interest backgrounds. Yeah, no, I th it's it's uh, it's really amazing everything they've got going on. Like you said, 220 programs, right. but they're also looking for your input in case 220 isn't enough. <laughs> they want to know what the people who live here want to see and what they're thinking about. And so they've got a, a survey out there that you can take until the end of the month. And we've got a link to that survey if you want to take it at WSLS.com. 